everyone and welcome back to the channel happy new year and as you can see from the title today we're going to be tackling some things in the kitchen this is our first after christmas clean and there's so many things that need to be tackled in there i'm also going to be showing you how i clean my oven dishes um, as you can see i'm going to transform it to make it look like this so if you're interested to see how you can transform yours join me today you can either clean along with me or you can play this video to get as much motivation as you can so I'm going to first tackle the dishes, put everything away. Um, so this oven dish, as you can see, I did put it in the dishwasher um, um, after Christmas, but you can still see on the outside, it still has a bit of burnt on grease and caramel stuff that was used to cook. Um, we used it quite a lot, so I'm going to focus on that. I'll show you um, what I use to ensure all this, you know, the marks are off. So let's put everything away first. See, I still have some of my Christmas mugs and some Christmas plates out. I'm going to eventually take those away and put them away in the storage. Some people actually like to get their cutlery clean after Christmas. So if you are interested to see what I do with mine, look forward to a new video upcoming in the next couple of weeks where I show you how to clean your cutlery in a fast and efficient way. So now on to the oven dish. So if you cooked a lot during Christmas, I'm sure you have quite a lot of these um, dishes that probably look like this. Um, they just got burnt on uh, food, grease, sugar if you baked anything like that i know because we bake a lot of apple pies on here and a lot of meals were cooked so basically what i'm going to show you is you can use the pink stuff um, i absolutely love this product for majority of the things around the house and you just need to like a little bit and you pour it on so you dip it into with a metal scourer and you just scrub you just scrub in all the areas like I'm showing you over here that I really need to focus on and I just scrub a little bit. You can repeat this process as many times as you need to. So you can either clean along with me, so play this video in the background and you clean just to keep yourself motivated or you can watch as I clean and hopefully you get motivated to go and clean yours. Um, what I want this channel to be is a little bit more interactive so you can pause or you can clean along and repeat this video as many times as you need to in order for you to achieve the task. So if you really need to achieve this task you can play this video as many times as you need to. We have now rinsed and it looks a lot better than it did, especially in the areas that I needed to tackle. But I'm seeing there could be a little bit more work to be done. The inside is not so bad, but I could, you know, just give it a little bit of an extra clean. Um, so I'm just going to repeat the whole process again. And that's it looks a lot better than it did at the start it's not perfect but I'm running out of time so I can only do this amount today so I'm now gonna put everything back uh, in the oven and uh, yeah I'll tackle it another time but that's it I'm very impressed with that the oven will be dealt with another day now on to my pots again same situation a lot of cooking was done so I'm just going to use the pink stuff again um, same amount or you can put as much amount as you need to just to scrub so what I love about the pink stuff is that you can scrub and you can already start seeing some of the results because it's literally lifting off all the grease or whatever it is that you've got it automatically starts lifting it and that's why I love it and it makes hard jobs not so hard because imagine how many products I'd have to use um, to ensure that everything is taken off and I could use a, a scrubber or the brush or anything uh, to ensure that everything's come off but I, I like to use a metal scourer for bigger areas like this now I'm just going to rinse everything off and it looks a lot better than it did at the start I'm sure you can see 
So every new year at the start of the year, I like to give my pots a huge deep clean. Um, even everywhere around the kitchen, I just feel like it sets the tone for the year, having everything in its place, everything clean. And I know that as the year goes on, I don't have to do that many deep cleans. I can just continue um, having clean things and just my house reset. This is also my first proper deep, deep clean of my sink. Um, again, over the Christmas period, I did clean it, but it was not um, as deep as you're gonna see um, I'm doing. Also, because I live in a hot water area, so it does get like hard water marks everywhere around the sink. So I like to give this a deep clean. If you are enjoying the content, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more content and how-to videos. So I'm now just giving the sink a wipe and everything looks a lot shiny, a lot cleaner. But now I'm going to tackle the building up of lime scale and hot water. So I like to focus on the areas like here where it slowly builds up. I could just focus on just those areas, but I think I'll just spray the whole sink. Uh, sorry, the whole tap and I'm using white vinegar. It works really well um, on small surface areas like here. I'm then going to grab my sonic brush, just the brush on its own, and I'm just going to scrub around the areas that like I mentioned where the hot water is building up. You could use your cleaning toothbrush if you've got one, um, but it's not a huge job. But I just can see like the line scale was starting to build up, especially around the tap, and you can see like a little bit of um, metal, and I don't know what else is over there, but <laughs> I love doing this at the start. Um, especially after Christmas like I mentioned because we're so busy um, we don't tend to stop and do a deep clean so this is why I highly recommend for you to do a deep clean after Christmas so I know this task can look a bit daunting and overwhelming for some people but honestly if you tackle one task at a time a different day it does you know um, get better so don't feel the pressure to make sure everything is done on the same day you can split it up and do certain things on different days um, but if you want more motivation I'll do my best to get it done for you guys and we can clean along together if that's what you are looking for um, I hope this video was very helpful and motivating and that's it for me today I hope you guys have a lovely day I'll see you soon bye